Well, everyone, it's finally happening. Now, I know what you're thinking. Really? It's actually happening? The hit film 100 Years by Spy Kids director Robert Rodriguez is finally coming out? No, that's not what's happening. We have, like, at least another 92 years before that happens. Like, come on. I'm referring to the long-awaited release of the hit animated sitcom Has Been Hotel. It was recently announced that on January of 2024, Has Been Hotel would premiere on Prime Video, of all places. Um, hello, can I watch Secret Saturdays? Nope, it's behind a paywall! Oh, okay, what about Red vs. Blue? Nah, ah paywall! Oh, okay, fine, uh, how about, uh... The Tag, the movie from 2015, just, just a random uh, movie. Can, can I watch that? No! Why would you think you'd be able to watch anything? I, I don't know. I mean, you, you're called video. I thought I could watch things on you. No! It's all behind a paywall. Do you know why? Why? <laughs> because we hate you. And many a fan have been very excited for the new release of Has Been Hotel, and it's not very hard to see why. It's not often you see something made by a YouTuber getting, you know, a shot at the big one. Now, I gotta be completely honest with you. I'm not really that excited for it. Not in the sense that I, like, don't want to see it. It's more I'm mainly nervous about it. You see, Has Been is one of those things I, I can never get hyped because I'm never confident it's going to be good. Now, I remember when the pilot first came out, there was so much hype around it. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone was buzzing about it. I had no idea what it was. And then I saw it, and it was a giant nothing burger. I, I did not get the hype. Okay, maybe not didn't get the hype. I certainly got the hype. You know, there was a lot of things going for it. It had astounding, is that the right word? Astounding visuals, a pretty unique premise, lots of great character designs. It had some musical moments here and there. But that's not to say it is without its flaws, of which there are many. For one thing, it's messy as all hell, no pun intended. The whole thing feels like one big first draft. A lot of the ideas don't really feel conveyed in a way that's very interesting or organic. And some characters, like Cherry Bomb, literally do absolutely nothing. Now, since the pilot, the universe has expanded a lot more, and I guess there are more good things thrown onto the pile now. But I don't know. I'm still not really convinced. Now, the team behind Has Been has had a bit of practice making a TV show. Look no forward than the spin-off series, Hello Boss. Now, Hello Boss is a bit of an odd case, because sometimes it can actually be really good. But sometimes it feels like the writers are just like, you know, we've done enough good this season, how about we just uh, completely half-ass this entire episode? So my brother is a really big fan of over-the-top cartoon violence, basically. He thinks that's like the funniest shit ever. And so I showed him Haluva Boss because I thought he'd like it. And he did say that he did like it, but he still, he also thought it was like very disappointing. And that that is incredibly shameful that something like Haluva Boss would not win over my brother, who who really likes this type of stuff like that. That's shameful. I think that the overall flaw of this franchise really boils down to one word. Restraint. There is a scene in the Has Been Hotel pilot that I've thought about a lot. And I never really once, like, ever tried to, like, explain why this scene was, like, so shocking to me. But, like, okay, here I go. So, right at the beginning, this... Like, weird cat thing falls out of the sky. And from the way he, like, falls to the way he, like, reacts to hitting the ground, we can infer that this is a new resident in hell. So my immediate thought was, oh, I see, so this must be the main character. It would only make sense, right? We'd follow the experiences of this person as they go through hell slowly, realizing 
where they are, what's going on, you know, trying to cope with the fact that, you know, they're in hell and that they're a bad person. And then they find out about the happy hotel and that's when they're like, oh, I have to go check this out. Maybe this is my ticket out of here or whatever. So yeah, all that went through my head in the span of like 2.35 seconds because immediately after this character shows up, they get hit by a car and splatter everywhere and they, they freaking die. And then we meet the real, I guess, main character, Angel. Like, I know this character wasn't really built up or hyped up to be all that important or anything, but still, they gave us, like, a character with potential and then just killed them off for comedic effect. And that's, I think, the overall issue with all this, that there's just, they don't take things seriously enough. Too often, the show lies on cursing and jokes to diffuse the tension. Like, every episode of Hulu Boss just feels so, I don't know, ADHD. I don't really mean that as, like, an insult or anything. It's just, there's always so much happening. Now, Hulu Boss, it makes sense that it has a lot of action scenes and fight scenes and stuff, because it's about bounty hunters, you know, that's what you'd expect. But has been really should not have anything like that. Like, I know I've talked about this before, but like, please take Serpentius, bring him around back behind the dumpster, show him some flowers, and peacefully put a cap in his ass. If has been fails, that gives bigger studios more of a reason not to trust indie creators. They have a serious opportunity on their hands. They're out there representing the entire internet. They're out there representing all of us. And it has the chance to really break ground and explore new territories. A lot of really dark ideas that a lot of people aren't like comfortable with. It can make those brave decisions. And look, I'm not trying to say that Has Been or Heluva is terrible or anything. They're, they're, trust me, they're nowhere near that bad. But the thing is, I feel if Vizzy Pop doesn't really take into consideration a lot of these criticisms, doesn't really, you know, rethink maybe how they're doing this whole thing, it might, I don't know, it, it might not end well. Look, I really want to see this series flourish. There's a lot of really great things to like about this mythos. And I think that the best case scenario is it comes out, it's good, and people like it. But I, I don't know. Sometimes I just think maybe that isn't plausible. But I guess ultimately at the end of the day, the real moral of the story here is no matter how disappointing the Haluva Boss Lost episode was, Hey, at least it wasn't the freaking confined lost episode. Like, oh my god, I still can't get those freaking bathroom images out of my head. Hey, I'm still here because I thought I might as well talk about the new voice cast for Hesben Hotel. Now, I have this, this, this might be a hot take to some of you, but I think they shouldn't have recasted literally everyone. Because it's like, I mean, come on, so what all the old actors are like, no-name actors or whatever? So, so what? They're smaller. Just keep them anyway. They're the ones that you're familiar with. They're the ones who already have the voices that they do. Just like, just keep them. Come on, keep, keep them. I mean, they got Keith David, which is impressive. But, uh, he's gonna be doing Husk? Really? Husk? I'd much rather see him as someone important, like Valentino or Vox, not Finn Husk. Stephanie Beatrice will be vaggy, and nah, I, I don't, I don't really like that. I've seen some of her voice work before, and she's not great. Like, in, she's fine, like as an actor, like in general, but like just not with voices. Everyone else can just go piss off. I don't really care. I, I'm done making this video. I don't want to keep going. I bet this movie's going to be outdated as all frick when it comes out.